Hi, welcome to QuickBooks Video Insights brought to you by InfoPlus Accounting. This is Diane Gilson and in this QuickBooks Video Insight we're going to be talking about faster, easier reconciliations in 2009 and 2010 QuickBooks. So let's take a look at 2009 QuickBooks. All right, before 2009 we always got all of our uh, checks, for instance, in check number order, and you'll see here we don't have very many check numbers, so apparently this is a situation where they were probably transfers or direct debits and so on. So I'm just going to go right on down the list here, and you'll see that finally when we start getting some numbers, uh, they're showing up in numerical order. This is the way we were always used to seeing this information. Okay, but the great thing in 2009 was they made it so that we could sort based on these different columns. So we could sort based on date, on check number, on let's say we click on payee here at the top, it's going to put everything by payee or by amount. And I really like the amount one because if we're looking for a particular, uh, let's say we're doing an interim reconciliation, we're looking for uh, an amount of say 1366, we've got everything in the amount order here, we can find the 1366 and match it and find it very easily. So when we click on the column header, we can also reverse the numbers. See how that little diamond sits up here? When we click it again, it's going to flip it in the opposite order of numbers. So that's really very helpful. When you're all done with this, and you've clicked off the different things that you want to, you can turn around and sort by date. And of course, if we had a number of things clicked off, you'd be able to see old outstanding items that were sitting up here. Now I'm going to point out here in 2009 that as we click things off, of course, we go down the list and we're clicking off various things that match with our bank statement. Uh, we've got the check mark over here, the amount over here, and of course you can also click off just by hovering over the number. But nothing too much is changing. Now let's go take a look at 2010 and see what happens. Here we have a bank reconciliation and we now have the possibility of sorting by date order, by check number, by amount as we did before. Okay, but let's say we go find a particular amount we want to click off and let's say it's the 786 and the 802 and the 816, a couple tens and 1150 and look what's happening here. These numbers are getting highlighted. This box down here has highlight marked checked. Now if we take that off, we're still going to get some of the effect here. You'll see that we've got our amounts are bolded that have not been clicked off and the things that have been clicked off are in a lighter face type. If we click the box that says highlight marked, we also get a, a faded background, a, a highlighting amount. So that's actually really exciting because if you're sorting through a whole lot of different things, it's just much easier to see what's going on if some of those uh, numbers are a little bit different and here we're seeing some highlighted things. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, video clip. This is Diane Gilson with InfoPlus Accounting and always remember, working smarter, not harder, gets you farther and faster. Have a great day.